And now, for the only important thing happening today, XUW presents Forbidden Wheels. Welcome everyone to XUW Forbidden Wheels. All the wheels are being forbidden today. People are saying there's more doors, people say it's more wheels, but I'm telling you, the wheels are they're what is forbidden today. Anyway, I'm Oliver Worthless. I'm here with Bear B. I think they're going to a wild day, because first off, we got a match between the Juvenile and the Perfect Citizen for the X, or for the, the Zanzoon Championship. And we have a main event, which is Zan Man versus King Stuff Jr. for the XUW Championship. But I mean, it, it is going to be an incredible show. I can almost guarantee things are going to go wild, balls to the wall, nuts. It's going to be fantastic. That is what I have to say. Bear B, see more. I mean, when you put these two polar opposites in the same sentence, things are about to get wild, so I honestly just can't get ready for this opening matchup. You know, anticipation is through the roof with me. Now I'm used to having to wrestle people that are way lesser than me, but I'm literally about to wrestle scum. And I don't really deal with wrestling scum too well. So I was put into this match for some reason. I bought a new shirt for this match, and it was, it was for nothing. It was for nothing. Oliver Worthless gave this fool, this juvenile, a second chance, and you know what, I'm not happy about it. Does he look like he deserves my Zanzoom Championship? He doesn't. I'll have you know that. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't belong being in this match. He doesn't belong being in this company. You throw me in here with him? He's a dangerous society. He killed his girlfriend. He did. He doesn't belong in here. He doesn't belong in here at all. He's filth. He's scum. He's a stain on society and you bring him in here. That's a mistake. That's a mistake and that isn't one you want to make when the perfect citizen is around because I'm so perfect that I'll send him right back. You're the nerve to call me a murderer. I'm not. I may have stabbed her couple times, but that doesn't make me a murderer. She's not dead. She lives on. You want to call me a bad guy? Well, you should take a look in the mirror. Your perfection has ruined more lives than my imperfection. Wait, you want to say we're polar opposites? We are. But that's only because Nobody knows what you've done. But I do. I do. <laughs> oh, uh, when I win this championship, it's going to get so interesting. Oh, these two polar opposites are about to start this matchup. Ding, ding, there is the bell. And now, they lo and now they're locking up Juvenile, just trying to punch Perfect Citizen in the side of the head. Perfect Citizen all riled up and wants to get rid of, wants to get rid of the Juvenile, who's in the Second Chance program. Oh man, remember Perfect Citizen just kicking, kicking him down to the ground, and he just spit on his face. Perfect Citizen just spit on the face, right there, of the Juvenile. Juvenile's down on the mat, doesn't even know what to think right now. The juvenile has no idea what to think right now. And now the juvenile gets up. The juvenile gets up. And now he's just battering. He's battering the perfect system. He's punching him repeatedly in the face. He's punching him repeatedly in the face. That is not good. That is not good for anybody. No way, no how. Man, I don't know how this match is going to end. These two are just... These two are just, you know, going mad. Oh, man. Oh, and a big chop there. A big chop there by the juvenile. And a big chop there by the perfect system. And another big chop by the juvenile. And now the perfect citizen, oh, with just a sucker punch right to the face, dropping the juvenile. 
And now, and now Perfect Citizen's rolling out of the ring and he's getting a steel chair. If Perfect Citizen whacks the juvenile with his steel chair, that won't really make him too perfect, no good. While he's going into the ring. If he hits him with his chair, he's going to be disqualified. Oh, wait a minute, the juvenile kicks it out of the hand of the Perfect Citizen and tries to go for a roll up. One, two, wait. Wait a minute, a roll through right there. One, two, three, Perfect Citizen retains. Oh my. I won. I won. Perfection always wins. That is what you have to remember. If you are perfect, you're going to win. You're going to get the job done. And now I walk away still champion. Still champion. The longest reigning champion to ever be a champion here in XUW. And if you thought I was done here... I want the world championship next. I want the world championship next. I want that XUW championship. And I want to be the first person to hold two championships here in XUW. Well, as we move forward, our next matchup, our main event, we're going to see Zan Man. At least I'm pretty sure it's going to be Zan Man and not Zan Boy or Dark or some new persona. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Zan Man versus King of Stuff Jr. King of Stuff Jr. is the one to do win this championship. For his father who was sadly burned alive a few years ago. So it's going to be real interesting to see what happens here. It's going to be real interesting to see how this all plays out. I have a legacy to uphold. I have to win a championship that my father never had. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I want this so badly. You have no idea. I want that championship. I want it more than I've ever had anything else. My father deserved this championship, but he didn't get it. He wasn't able to win it because he was burned alive, burnt to a crisp. But I have a chance, and I'm going to win it. I'm going to do what he never could, and I'm going to win the XUW championship. King of Stuff Jr., I know what you've been through. Everyone in this company feels bad for you. Everyone in the mind of Zan feels bad for you. But the issue is... You've come off as such a dick. You and your father. Such horrible, nasty people. That you're starting to make nobody want to care. So maybe you turn that around and maybe you change that. Maybe people start to really look at you and want to give you a helping hand. But the thing about it is, King and Stuff Jr., nobody wants to do that. And I... I'm XUW champion, and quite frankly, I'm glad. I'm glad that I got to have this match with you, because I've been waiting. We're waiting a long time to have a match with someone that didn't take other spots, didn't jump in in line when they didn't belong there. Guys like Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar doesn't deserve to be half as popular as he is, because he's taken people's spotlights. And that is not what a champion should do. That's not what a challenger should do. You're the challenger right now. You're the challenger right now, and you have an opportunity at this championship for a reason. It's because you earned it. But today's the day that you got to prove that you have a champion mentality, and you gotta, you got to drop the dick shtick, and you have to find it in your heart to take this championship away from me, because I am not ready to lose it, and quite frankly, I don't know if I ever will be. There's the bell. And man, King of Stuff Jr. is rolling up his sleeves to start this thing. And now he's, now he's tall on Zaman. He's, do, he's, he's doing one of these to him. Zaman. Zaman's not falling for that. And now King of Stuff Jr. is running at Zaman. When he goes for a gigantic knee. But Zaman ducks it. Zaman ducks it. Power bomb by Zaman. And there's a the cover. One. Two. No. Oh my. Oh my. The things you see there, Zaman almost won off a power bomb, and that could have been absolutely incredible. But now Zaman, Zaman trying to go for a knee of his own. He's trying to go for his big finishing move, the running knee to the side of the head. But will he strike? Will he strike? Oh, and he runs up. Oh, and a miss right there in King Stuff Jr. He gets behind him. Oh, a spear to the back. A spear to the back. And there's a cover. One, two, nope. Oh, my. And then King of Stuff Jr. trying to pick Zenman up. Trying to pick Zenman up. Oh my god, a big suplex, but he rolls through, wouldn't it? 
Oh, and another one. Now he's rolling through again. Oh, man. Three Migos complete. And there's a cover by King Stuff Jr. One, two, three. Oh, my God. The Kinghood dream. The Kinghood dream has come true. I did it. I did it. I did it for you. The original King of Stuff. I did it for you. But now everyone will know the name King of Stuff Jr. And I will live on. My name will live on. And I will be one of the greatest champions there ever was. And after that challenge, perfect citizen, name the time and place. Name the time and place. Well, everyone, thank you for a very great show. Thank you for a very, very great season. We have a new world champion, and that's just crazy to consider. But, uh, well, you'll join me next season. Probably not Barbie, but you're going to join me next season for another incredible season. XUW next year in 2023. XUW is going to get crazy and it's going to be real, real cool. But thank you for watching and we will see you then.